prepping for comp, uh, I think it's every day. I don't think it's like just because I'm doing competition, I'm going to get ready. But I think the aspect of competition is like you really got to be able to have a mental mindset that uh, is strong for every little decision that you make. So I try to challenge myself every day to um, not have one decision that I'm disappointing myself in. So that that way when I'm approaching the bar, uh, my emotions are happy. And you know, approaching competition, you should be relaxed, confident, and understanding what you're gonna do. So what I usually like to do is I like to put myself in uncomfortable situations like a three day fast. So as soon as I get back from this trip, I'm going into a three day fast. Um, so that that way when it is comp time by Saturday, uh, I've already been through the worst, you know, not being able to eat, not being able to go ahead and do what I want. Um, kind of putting a sacrifice for what you want is really what I do and literally just visualize, meditate. And the comp really just is a chance for me to show everybody how comfortable I am and controlled I am under the stressful situations of the bar, you know, because really if you're having a good time in life and if you know that you've got your own back, competition is just a, a chance to share with everybody kind of how you feel about life. And a lot of people forget that, you know, I think a lot of people are like, I'm gonna beat this guy up. I'm like, it's not about that. It's like, are you comfortable with what you're doing in your own life so that when you go out there and, and given a platform, you can show people joy in your movements, show people control in your movements, you know, fearlessness. And I think a lot of people forget about that. And so that's my main focus when I compete. Just relax. <laughs> so my diet is, uh, I'm actually pretty rigid when it comes to everyday nutrition, but competition is more about, okay, there's no candies. Okay, there's no late night snacks, you know, and it, there's that freedom of knowing that what you're doing will benefit you that day in the competition. So um, my three day fast coming up, mostly water, hydration. I really like want to prepare my muscles to be fully hydrated before the competition. Uh, the next few days after that will be no, mostly nutrient focused so that that way there's a tremendous amount of glucose in my muscles so I can go ahead and be ready to compete. The last few days I'll take away a little bit more of, you know, the calories so that that way I can be a little bit lighter. But other than that, my goal is ultimately to just be present, um, knowing that I didn't have any, you know, cheeseburgers or bad meals that can ultimately, you know, when I'm, when I'm about to get on the bar, I'm feeling guilty or regretful, you know, and those things are actually what throws you off most in battle when you're about to go up there and you're like, oh, did I remember to send a text message or did I send that bill? Those things throw you off more than like the environment, you know, the environment, it just propels you. Everybody has created their own style of movement. Just like when you walk, you have like maybe a little swag this way or that way, but the flows are really just, where do you feel strong? And I think, um, you know, the way I choose my flows is, what do people not typically do? I think that a lot of people like to go with the most common combinations that they've seen either on Instagram or YouTube or Facebook. And um, for me, it has always been what's that different style and so I like to bring in a lot of the b-boy style into my uh, flows um, a lot of people like to be fearless and dynamic where they do a lot of flips and tricks I do more of control on the bar kind of moving my feet on the bar incorporating full body movements um, so that's where I think my style differs um, but to be honest with you coming up with flows is just what moves best from one bar to the other or from one movement to the other what allows um, me to have better engagement with the crowd what allows me to see the judges best and uh lastly is like what is going to make a uh an awesome moment for the crowd to remember you know like a lot of the times that's what wins the battles it's can you do something memorable so that the crowd can go home and but did you see that you know and when i'm sitting down writing my my flows i'm like what is going to make them say wow you know, and a lot of times you got to put yourself on the line, but if the crowd likes it, you feel comfortable, you've trained for it, and you could do it in a way where you look like you're still in control, then why not? You know, that could make a big statement.